Here are the best chamber setup and plays that you can make on the map Lotus. Let's get into the video so I show it to you. Alright, so we're gonna start with uh, this A site first and the plays that you can make there. First off, we're gonna go with the trap placements on A site. The best traps that you can do, one is to place it behind this box okay. just like that. And then you can wait for it to go off and then make plays with it from the side or from uh, basically here. So you can easily, on strap goes off, go for a peek, try to catch someone off guard. Or you can also try to place it after the round starts. You just go to the left and place it behind this tree, just like that. So when people are coming out from the door, the trap goes off and gives you the information for it. Or also, uh, you can place it here too. So just like that, you go a little to the left. So the blue line, as you can see, is ending there. So like that, you place a trap. So this trap is good when you're playing, for example, around here in an off angle way. If you hear it getting shot from this area, you can easily go for the peak and manage to get that kill for yourself. You can also try to place it here as well to cover both left side and right side. If you decide to play super passively, you can play on top here. Trap goes off, go for a swing. Or if you're playing down here, trap goes off, go for a swing and get that kill for yourself. But now let's start with the best teleport plays that you can go for on the A side. So first and one of the best ones if you want to play aggressive is for you to go onto the B, come into the connector and place your teleport like this. Pretty simple. Then we're going to go all the way back toward A. Just we travel all the way to the A and as you can see the range of the teleport is very big. So round starts. We know that this area and especially A lobby and rubble is very uh, heavy control. You have to take control of it. So what happens when the round starts, you go into the teleport. You can sit here and just hold it casually like this. Or you can keep pushing and build that good off angle for yourself. You can see the enemy head here like that and get the kill for yourself. Or if you feel like you can just sit here hold the upper part or if you feel like the enemy doesn't really use the top come down here and just hold it like that you get the kill travel to safety for this play it's also good for you to have your teleport onto the b as well so you play sorry your trap onto the b as well so then you will sh be sure that hey no one's gonna kill me from behind if i teleport or at least your allies uh, make sure to display if you know that at least one of your allies is holding your mid as well Another play that you can do, which is another aggro play, is that you can place your teleport behind the door. Make sure to uh, don't use it on the uh, cross of the door. When the door opens, it breaks your teleport and trap at the same time. So make sure that it's not in this circle. You can place it like that too if you want to go more aggro. Or if you want to go more to the left toward rubble, you can place it on the left. So I place it like that. A little bit more back so it doesn't get destroyed. Then when you open the door, so door opens then you can come here go for an aggro peak and then teleport to safety like and then go for another peak before the door even closes or if you have time and you open the door just keep using the teleport range go all the way close to the rubble and then after next you're uh, you're next to the pillar you can go for a peak from here or just hide like this and hold it because enemy doesn't see your teleport nor they see you and after you get the kill you can teleport to safety so that would be for very good aggression plays but now for a more passive aggression So one thing that you can do is to place your teleport up here and then teleport up to it and then recall your teleport and then place it back there so you can then teleport back to safety so i misplaced it just like that and then round starts you're holding this angle you can hold it from here as well a little you go as forward and right as possible and hold it like this or you go as back and left as possible so you build that angle advantage for yourself and then you hold the angle from there, you get the kill, or whenever you feel like you're unsafe, you immediately teleport out to safety. Another good play that you can make with Chamber is if you're playing here, and this is another passive aggression teleport as well. So we can place our teleport up here, just like that. And then it gives us uh, the room to play all the way into here too. So you can keep jiggling here, or you can just scratch and hold it. You can also hold it from this position as well or holding it from here too but this angle is not really as good to hold because it doesn't uh, allow you to see the enemies first enemies will see you first if you just stand here but you can also go out a little and then hold it from behind the box like that 
as we can see and then once you get the kill teleport out to safety and now you're on site holding it passively this teleport and play is also very good if you have this trap that i told you because after you teleport up here and enemies are doing a fast hit and hard hit on a side you can then deal with them more easier after your teleport next up for on site play another thing that you can do is to have your teleport up here then teleport on top then you're gonna recall it go as right as possible and forward so then you can place your teleport behind the wall in safety just like that and now i'm playing up here i can hold it like this this play is good with that uh, trap that i told you here so if it gets destroyed you know that they're coming from the right side or uh, not if the door opens you know it's the left side you can also go for this trap as well having it there or having it in the middle just like that and then when I'm playing from up here, I get the kill and then immediately I teleport back to safety and then it doesn't see me. And after getting the recover time, I can try to go for another peek when my tra trap goes off. And then next up, we got the play that you can do from the ramp itself. So having your teleport up there and playing down here. You can play it here just like a jiggle. You can go a little bit more forward or you can play all the way from here too. Just get the kill and teleport back up into the safety. And next one, which is a very good off angle to play super passively, is to have your teleport up there, teleport on top, and then after that, recall it to place it anywhere you like. You can place it behind there, you can place it here, or you can place it toward the spawn for a more fast rotate for yourself. For now, I'm just going to place it like that. Now, the ways that you can hold this angle, one is like this, so enemy only sees your head. One is to go more forward and hold it like this, just like that. One is to go a little bit more to the left and make this wall meet with this wall, and hold it like this or hold it from super far back and as left as possible like this like this angle is very broken and you can abuse it as much as you can if the enemies like to take that side control but if it's a team that likes to just plant here and back off this play doesn't really work as well but that's pretty much it for the a side and now let's go to the b side for b side just like a there's a lot of plays that you can make here so first one is going for aggression Again, we go from aggression to passive aggression to passive place. So for aggression, you can place your teleport just behind here. And as of your trap, if you feel like the enemies can go A and break the door to come and flank you, you can place it here, but just like that in the corner. And then round starts. Okay, I start aggressing into mid. This is very good if you have a bridge stone as well with you or a harbor cascade so you can have more room to go for that pick. Or if not, you can just keep jiggling it and then go for the peak, try to get the peak, and then teleport back to safety. Another very aggression play that you can make is to have your teleport like this, here. And then your trap, this is a very bait kind of play. Round starts, you're gonna place your trap like that, and then you yourself come behind this box here. Pretty simple, right? Or you can also place your trap like this as well, so you know when enemies are around the orb, so you can go for that peak. All right, I play behind this box, trap goes off, I go for the peak, teleport to safety. Or you can, with this uh, trap that I told you here, the way that enemies are going to play, they hear the trap. So what are they going to do? Try to break it. They clear this, and then they try to break the trap. Once they try to break it and your trap goes off, you go for the swing, get that kill, and then teleport to safety. This is a very good cheesy play that you can make once or twice a game. Then next up uh, is that you stand in the middle of the site, literally, because it's such a good angle to play in. So I'm going to have my teleport there to back off. And then I'm going to play literally in the middle of the side. You see this is stairs. You go a little toward close it to build this head level angle for yourself. No one is going to be side and then clear this, clear on top. They're more worried about on top than this tiny head level angle down here. So you can easily catch a free kill for yourself and then teleport to safety. So you go here, get the kill. And what happens? Enemies are trying to look at you to trade you or kill you. Then you teleport up. And now suddenly they have to flick up and then you're going and getting the kill for yourself super easy you can also place the teleport more towards safety you can also place it behind here as well for display these teleport range is just insane so you can place it wherever you desire and then next up we got for a very passive play so for passive play onto the b side you want to mix up your play one thing that you can do if you like to go for a very fast rotate play you can place your teleport back here just like that towards C and then play on top of this box 
as you can see my teleport allows me to be here and go for a very very aggression play. You can also have your trap after round starts just like that again to bait enemies to look at it and try to break it. And once the trap goes off or enemies are looking at the trap, you get the kill and then teleport to safety. This is, the teleport is also good if you decide to fast rotate to seaside to help your allies if the enemies go towards sea. If you want to play here, I would recommend for you to have your teleport on top of stairs just like that so you can change up that position and build that kind of crossfire with your own self. Alright, enemies are coming in, you go for the peak, now teleport on top and suddenly you're peeking the enemies from on top again. And the best trap on B side is just like that, so you place it next to this pillar. As we can see, the blue edge is ending there. That's a very, very good trap that you can place. Or you can also place it just like that on the first stairs as well. So as you can see here, enemy doesn't see the trap. So when they go to plant, if they want to plant here or anywhere down here, trap goes off and then you can try to bait them out for an easy kill. But if you're worried about enemies coming from the link, what you can do is to place your trap up here a little bit more to the back. So just like that. So that will be our trap from here. Enemies go to break it. You get the kill for yourself. Another good point about this trap that I explained just now is that enemies won't be able to break it. They have to white swing all the way to it to break that. So you will know 100% that enemies are fully out from cover to break that trap if the trap goes off or gets broken. So that's it from the B side. Now let's move on into the uh, C side. Four C side plays that you can make. First off, we're gonna start from the B link towards C. So, okay, round starts. What do I do? I place my teleport just like that, again, be be uh, behind the door, so it doesn't get breaked. Open the door, and then when the door is becoming open, go for a very aggression play and kill. You can also just, if there's no enemies, just chill here, and then uh, whenever you feel like, just teleport back to safety here and play with your teammate. Like, for example, if someone is taking the orb from the enemy team, if I'm taking orb, I'm not going to be able to see you unless I'm white pick here. And your ally, if they are playing around here to deny that orb from the enemy team, and you hear that, hey, this uh, enemy is taking the orb, you can go for a flash play with your ally if it's a bridge or KO, or like a raise nade and stuff like that. You teleport there and then double swing with your ally and get that kill over the enemy. So that's a very good play to go for as well. And then for the seaside teleports and traps that you can make. First play is going to be just like this. We place our teleport all the way back here, just like that. So we have more room to aggress. And then when the round starts, we're going to go like this. You can hold this off angle, just like that, pitch it angle, or go more to the left and hold it like this, or even hide behind here to deny the orb from the enemy team. Once you hear the orb being tapped, go for the peak and teleport to safety. This teleport is just broken. And in my opinion, it's just insane. Or you can go for a little bit more aggression place, going forward and holding very good off angles, or just be next to the door, chill here and holding it this way. Even if you hear that the enemies are uh, getting the orb on B and there's no one on C, you can go ahead, open the door, and then be in your teleport range, deny that orb and teleport to safety immediately. That's a very, very good uh, teleport that you can keep using it. Well, it gives high reward and it has a very low risk. If you want to go for a very, very aggressive play and super, super uh, into the enemy base, you can go for either this teleport or this teleport after the round starts. So let's say I place this one, round starts, I keep coming all the way to here, especially if you have operator displays very good. So you can keep coming here and then hold this very wide angle toward the enemy's spawn, or even keep further if you feel like there is a jet going to be up there, or even hold this angle like that, get a kill, move one step back or teleport to safety. Or if you have your teleport like that, you can keep pushing all the way up to here and then hold this angle. You can hold just like that. It's just you have so much room to play for yourself. And for a very good aggression trap that you can make is that once the round starts, place your tra uh, trap behind there. Now, be careful that your trap gets activated after four seconds. And that is uh, enough time for enemies to come from here to here. But there's a high chance they're going to hear your trap that is being activated and placed there. But the thing is, that trap is very hard to be broken. Like if they're coming from up here and they want to break it, it's very difficult for them to flick it all the way from here to here. Or if they come from the left side to break it, it's very uh, different, uh, difficult for them to go from here to here. But from the right side, it's also the same thing. So you can easily just chill and hide back here, be ready for enemies to break that, and then immediately go for the swing on them and get that kill for yourself. And another trap that you can place is behind this box, just like that. 
you don't want it to uh, be in the corner the reason why is because if you place it in the corner enemies can break it before the trap even gets activated they see the trap right now they well bang it your trap is gone but if you place it a tiny bit more to the left is that if the enemies are coming from here especially it gets them more uh, easier and sooner and gives you the contact better due to the angle that it has and that would be a very uh, good trap to catch enemies off guard once or twice a game and then with this uh, trap as well you can go for plays oh i have a teleport here trap goes off because trap is going to go off sooner unless the enemies come from there so you can hold that angle yourself trap goes off get the kill and then go for the teleport and if you have support from your team like breach like chamber uh sorry not chamber uh, that likes to stun that area one thing that you can do is to go for this teleport up here so you place it teleport up there as this is especially good if you're having a smoke on top here brim smoke omen smoke harbor smoke a lineup astro smoke every smoke works that you can just sit here and hold this beautiful one way down there which is a very very huge advantage for you once you get the kill and then you can drop back to safety and then use this to your advantage go another kill with this headshot and just try your best to run away then next up we got now for a passive aggression plays so one of the best traps to place is again we go as left as blue edge ending here so again enemies won't be able to break the trap with the wall banging you they have to white swing into it to break it and then that just gives you so much room that you can play look how open the enemy is to the left to here to up there you have so much room to just catch them off guard one of the best plays that i found is to have the teleport in that corner so after a tp you're gonna be safe and then trap goes off you go for the peak get that kill and then teleport to safety and then after that you can also go for peaks from up here as well or vice versa you can have your teleport just like that play up here and hold it like this you can also be crouched trap goes off uncrouch get the kill teleport here now you can go for another peak from the right side one other very good off angle you can abuse is to have your teleport back here and then be at the beginning of the stairs crouch and hold this head level angle like that enemies that come from close from here won't be able to see you but the enemies that come from far away they only will be able to see your head so you have the upper hand because you're playing uh, knowing that you're here but the enemy doesn't really know about this angle so you can use this angle once or twice a game as well you get that kill teleport to safety that angle can be also very good for an op so if you go a little higher and hold it like this with an op get the kill teleport to safety a lot of people don't expect this kind of place and another play that you can make is to have your teleport up there teleport on top recall the teleport and then place it down here you can also place it more to the right even toward your spawn as well but if the enemies are coming from b to c you're gonna get caught off guard so we're gonna have the teleport like that and hold it just like this above our trap so what our enemies usually gonna do look they clear this they clear top side and they clear that they clear this even let's say but next up they're gonna break that trap they're not gonna, just gonna white swing here even if they do so they're not gonna aim up there unless they are aware of your playstyle so then when they go down here you're all the way up here and this flick is way too difficult to make even if they make that your head is up here so that enemies are gonna have a very tough time killing you so we're gonna go as right and back as possible and then hold this angle like this you can also be crouched it's not really that much of a difference but if you feel more comfortable while being standing that's better because it makes your high head being higher and then killing you harder so make sure to use that play as well next play we got is a trap being on stairs so we place it up here just like that and then ourself will go up here and with a teleport just like that so we're gonna hold this angle ourselves. so if enemies are trying to come from the left side we're gonna catch them from there you can hold it even from more right side too just like that and then when the trap goes off you can go for the aim on the right or you can teleport down and then go for the peak from down here because you have more room to walk and you have a better cover so you can use this to your advantage as well as that's a very good angle to play in but that's it pretty much it from me on all the setups that you can do on chamber lotus i'm sure that there are more but these are the best ones that i found because chamber is very flexible and you can make so many setups with him let me know what you think about this video and if you have any better setups or any setup that you think can be very useful on lotus i would be very happy to see them and get knowledge for myself as well so until the next video 
get out of here and climb.